So, um, I'm on disability for SSI and SSDI. I take medication for bipolar, and I've been pretty unstable just taking, the doctors gave me the wrong medicine. So I'm, I'm more stabilized, but I still don't have a place to live. I don't think society can say that's okay in any measure that a disabled soldier, a disabled person in the community should have to wait four years to qualify for disability housing. <clears throat> I see a lot of inner city people not getting the ed trade schools, education they need, and they clog up the system. You have to educate them to open houses because they're making more money than going to jail. The whole system has to be redone. You know, social services does nothing but give you food. They're not teaching you to fish. Um, I am trained, and I continue to work on my, uh, <clears throat> my world preschool co concept, the philosophy, and getting people on board doing the things they love doing to make it happen. So it's not that I'm an income poop, but I will say that if you don't train your inner city poor people, um, or even rural people, there's people that don't have computers or cars and live in the rural communities. You have to have incentives to learn how to do a trade or go to college after high school um, or get trained in high school to do something through a VOTEC. But just for instance, I'm staying at a friend's house, but not everybody has that luxury. Um, I see people sleeping out on the street that need you know, you can do a one bedroom in a community house until you get stabilized and back at work and working a job. Um, Ralph, I'm appealing to you to do the right thing with Cray Deeds. I mean, I tried to commit suicide and they told me they were not ready for me to leave the hospital. And I was very still somewhat suicidal, depressed, but my mom took me and I stayed at her house a month while my, my brain repaired itself from that suicide attempts that they had no long-term housing for stabilization that would be watched to make sure I was safe. I guess you think I'm worth nothing, right? I'm trying to prove you wrong, Ralph, but you and Craig keep seeing, and the VMFA keep saying, well, she, she's not worth anything. She doesn't believe what she says. I have no choice. This is a path I chose, and this is what I'm doing because it is the right elevated idea. As Kent said, we live, live a little higher but he was talking about his old girlfriend, the doctor. So that challenged me. Have a good day.